We a special bulletin from Magic D Magician Tarot. Coming at you live with the knowledge from the High Priestess. So you guys are accessing higher realms. Discovering secrets. Discovering secrets about yourself. Things you never knew about yourself. And that is very Daniel Radcliffe. And that brings me to my next point, which is famous Leos. Leo, you already know you're famous and you won't even need the recognition. But just wanted to give you a few in case you were looking for some role models. And I see the Ten of Cups and I see the Fool popping out. Excuse me. Okay, we're going to get to these cards that just... Bump. Like, that was... Baby, turn around and, and let me see that sexy body go bump, bump, bump. Okay? That's what just happened. <clears throat> Daniel Radcliffe. All my Harry Potters out there. Leo, you are the freaking Gryffindor. Okay? Jayla. Barack Obama. Okay? And my favorite. Whitney Houston. Okay, Leos? Right now, you guys are looking at a ton of cups. You're looking at the fool. Those were just, they popped out when I was shuffling. I'm sorry to tell you that. You can believe me or not, y'all. I really don't care. So freaking suspicious. Okay. High Priestess in reverse. Something's on your mind. You want to travel. You want to move. You want to go. You're feeling restless. Do you want to act on something new? You want to maybe even move in with this person. This person is an earth sign, younger, this could be a Taurus, this could be Capricorn, Virgo, this person could still be in school, male or female, they could have an androgynous vibe about them, or this could be just a younger male or just a, somebody that is very inspiring to you with their youth. They're young and still have achieved a lot. Okay, they give you a different perspective. You're happy again. Maybe things at work, once again, you keep getting this three pentacles upside down. Things are weird at work, and let's figure out why things are weird at work, okay? Let me get the rest of these. Ooh, that's why. There is Leo. They're still that freaking Aquarius rushing in with their freaking sword. You know what the sword represents. Something about this Aquarius. You guys are still tripping about Leo. Leo, why is this Knight of Swords just bursting in, messing up your work situation? There is a love from childhood on your mind. They might remind you of them. This might be your ex. Oh my god, are you still messing with your ex? Leo, what the hell? Oh, you love your ex. That was your first and only love, maybe. Okay. I'm not... Leo. Those freaking Ace of Cups. For me, that's the most important card in the deck. That's because I'm a Pisces. You're like, ah, oh, water, why? Because you're not being charitable with your time and your emotions. You're maybe doing a lot of celebrating and partying. But not really looking at your responsibilities. A lot is coming out here. Pisces in reverse. Pisces again in reverse. Ace of Wands. You want... A fiery fling or thing. This person is a water sign. But you're way too smug and you will never admit it to them. Okay, and then your or it's your ex. You have all this love for your ex. Your ex makes you feel so in a way your ex might have some like very water sign qualities or something like that. There's a lot of cups here. It's nine of cups, it's eight of cups, it's ace of cups, the six of cups. Oh tower. Maybe you didn't move forward with something with this person. You thought something terrible was going to happen. It didn't happen. So good for you, Leo. But now this earth sign. Oh, they're the sun. Okay, you're like, who cares about them? But you avoided a little bit of a transformation. You didn't take a chance. You're moving on to greener pastures. Though. It's like, I'm not going to die on the sun. So you're definitely moving away from... Either this Scorpio or this more moody, transformative situation that was like floating over here in the back of your mind because you definitely would prefer things to go forward with this Earth sign who does kind of make you feel like Ten of Cups and who knows how permanent that situation is. But here's an Ace of Pentacles. So it could be. There's a seed. Let's get a little bit of advice 
for my Leos this day. The thing to keep in mind, Leo, and I don't know why I started saying that, but I'm just going to say it, is that you can have everything to a certain extent. And I think you're seeing that. Okay, but you have to enjoy the journey. And sometimes it's not a straight line from point A to point B. And I think because you miss this tower, you're in your smugness, you might be burying things. Okay. Went to the woods to bury a little bit of a body, a little skeleton in your closet. Because why you have this moon card in reverse? And a little bit of this water sign and this fire sign in your past. View from above. Okay. Getting the big picture. That's good. That's great. Good for you, Leo. And your hot air balloon. And you've avoided the tower. You wished past it. Finding sanctuary. Oh, just did find it through the air. Okay. All right. Yep. So some final advice for you guys. If you still have emotions and you still have feelings for someone else, but you think you could have something going on with this person, you know, don't rush yourself into anything, Leo. I see this Ten of Cups here. I see the sun. I see this earth sign. But I see a lot of things in the past, a lot of unresolved baggage for you, Leo. It may not be over the person that you decided to move away from. And you avoided the tower moment, but that doesn't mean that you're necessarily in the clear. Which is why you got this clear, the air, distant thunder. So you're up in the air, but when you come down, there's still going to be a lot. And I look at this, you're in the clouds twice. Alright, Leo. And you think you buried a body, but it's not dead. I hate to tell you that. Let me just do one more for you. If my Leo is confused, which I feel like Leo, you might be a little bit confused. Cards, what can you tell this Leo? Ace of Cups again. Boom. Okay. Whichever... You can have emotional exchanges with a lot of different people, Leo, because you're very open. And I would say... Go with it. Like... You can be honest also about your past. You might still have love for your ex. You're honest about your past, Leo. Okay? Clear the air because the tower moment, like, you may not be over these people. But you have a lot of hope and a lot. You're, you're doing you. So all you can do is move forward in honesty, though, Leo. Okay, tell the freaking truth. This the Ace of Cups isn't just about love beginnings, it's about pouring out emotion. Two different people you might have to tell the truth to here. But this is actually really nice because you have a ten of cups, you have the fool, you could have a lot of really good success with this person, this earth sign. But you're gonna need to be honest about your past and what who you were as a kid, that's still who you are. So don't change, Leo. Alright. Deuces, Magic Team Magician Tarot. Like and subscribe below. Thanks for all the love in the last video. Appreciate y'all. Mmm, my Simba's doing it.